Welcome to Work on Masters Healthy Living episode. I think it's 36, whatever 37. the episode is. 37? 37. Okay, guys. Um, you know when uh, you get to the gym and you see people exercising. By the way, this is Ruben. Thanks. <laughs> uh, I'm Aaron. <laughs> you probably know. Uh, when you get to the gym, you'll see people walking on a treadmill and there's a big button that says fat burning zone and everybody <laughs> Everybody try to push that button uh, because everybody want to get rid of this fat on the body they Cannot wait to get rid of it and guys this button Was created by the people who designed the same machine. Yeah? They want you to press in that button. So let's talk about this fat burning zone, mister. What do you think? The fat burning zone, <laughs> it's a BS. It's BS <laughs> and it's a myth. Let that be clear. Those studies that were, like Aaron said, that were made by the companies that manufacture the treadmills and it's all done you know, with, in, in bad really terms as far as a scientific test goes. They use a specific subjects, meaning people, they don't they don't do any any blind studies they just go ahead and just pretty much put out whatever information they want and you know those obviously those uh those studies they're not being peer-reviewed by anybody else that might have some sense of science and see how a, how a scientific study has to be formulated with double blind studies which they didn't let's tear this one apart let's uh, let's just think you know as a humans we have a, a incredible ability to think uh, which we should use a whole lot often, now we do. Right, and um, as humans we have an ability to do a hell of a lot of stupid things, which we do very often times also. For sure. So, what is a fat? Fat is stored for a few reasons. Yeah? Well, yeah, and, and you can also say that fat is just potential energy. It's just energy. It is a potential energy. So, if you eat there. something, then you will exceed too much calorie wise, mm -hmm. then your body gonna store it as a fat. That's obvious. This the, the yeah. body has nothing to do with it. It's already, you know, your storages of these and your storages of that. Mm -hmm. They have been fulfilled and there is more. So So your body puts it on the side. Like mm -hmm. you would do if you have extra money you'll put it in the bank. Uh, second one, uh, it is a very good way to keep toxins away from the bodily organs. Very important to know. So when you eat a garbage food, if you eat a highly processed, whatever is widely available, obviously somebody eats it, uh, that might be you. Uh, if you eat it and it has something that your body does not want it, right. your body gonna actually put it away somewhere where it's safe and it's safe to keep it away from your bodily organs. That's correct. Yeah. So, so that's a second way. Let's add a little bit to that. Okay. When your body when your liver, in particular, is already being overburdened by toxins in the body, which they can come from the air you breathe, the mm -hmm. water you drink, the chemicals that you might be exposed, you think of pretty much anything, right? From the carpets in the house or at the office to the new furniture that's made out with all these kind of chemicals like formaldehyde and, you know, and, and, and um, chloroform, there's all kinds of chemicals in, in our environment as at the house. The Most car. of them we, we don't even know how to pronounce. Exactly. Nor do I care to learn. And uh, well, obviously, all those toxins they're gonna come into your body. Once the liver is already busy enough handling whatever it can handle, they can no longer do its job. So what happens is that the body says, "Well, I have to do something with all this toxicity, otherwise I'm gonna poison the rest of the organs, glands, etc." So what it does, it encapsulates the fat and it puts them in storage because the fat itself it will as it will function as an insulation. And this is something that the body does in an effort to protect itself. Okay. So when I see somebody that's really, really heavy, that has a lot of, a, a massive amount of extra fat, I said, first of all, they're metabolically challenged. They're not eating right for what is good for them. Two, they're highly toxic. Mm -hmm. And I just leave it at that and work with those two things and it works like a charm. So yes, what you're saying is right. So another thing, the third one, the reason your body stores fat, I'm talking, the reason your body, <laughs> The reason your body stores fat is because the fat is there for protection and security. It's like when you store some money on the side for the rainy days, or rainy days or some tough times. Your body stores the fat as a protection. 
Absolutely. It is a protective mechanism that is very, very important. People that didn't have enough of fat did not truly survive back in the days. Absolutely. Uh, because if there was no food to eat, they didn't really have anything to live off. Just like today, if you don't have any money, you don't have any credit, there is a very hard time to live on this planet. Yeah. So um, our body was pretty much hardwired to actually retain body fat in, in, in times of, of a feast. And in terms of famine, it will use you know, that energy just for maintenance, okay. to support itself. Exactly. Right. So let's think of how we can actually create this fat burning zone besides pushing the button, which is absolute crap. Uh, what what's actually, ideas? Actually, I think what they do is that they do like a percentage of your normal heart rate. Of the yeah, average, they just calculate like I think. Or your yeah, maximum heart rate yeah. minus your age, and then they take a percentage out of that. That's crap. That doesn't mean anything. Because ultimately, you don't know who is standing on the trail, okay. level, what kind of condition he is in. Absolutely. If they can even walk or talk. If you yeah. keep treadmill running, it's yeah. still in the fat burning zone. You'll have you'll have a really seasoned runner that's actually very very active running, or somebody that has a high levels of, of cardiovascular endurance, and at the fat burning zone, they will not be doing anything. They're probably just getting a warm up. Yeah. And then you have some person that is really out of shape. And yes, getting into the gym, they're already pretty much, you know, they're hitting the lactic acid threshold. Yep. So, so let's talk lactic acid threshold. Yeah. So your body, uh, if you before that it's anaerobic exercise. Yes. After that it's aerobic exercise. Mm -hmm. So as soon as you hit the lactic acid threshold, you basically go in anaerobic and aerobic mode. Which by means of uh, energy product, you need to use more of energy as carbohydrate. Yes, your body uses a carbohydrate as an energy source. Yes. Sorry. So your body gonna use carbohydrate as an energy source after you reach your lactic acid threshold. Before that, your body has an ability to use fat, protein, carbohydrates for energy. Yeah? Uh, now, what happens is, what happens? What happens is that your body starts actually going through a process called gluconeogenesis, in which actually starts breaking down fat, but most likely than fat, because it's hard to make that transition, it starts burning proteins, because proteins have more nutrition than the fat themselves. So they actually the body starts you know, breaking down the proteins into amino acids to use that as a form of energy for the body to sustain the labor that you put in it through, and keep on going. So your body gonna use all the carbohydrate storage, yeah, all your glycogen storage, and eventually it's gonna start burning a protein, which is basically your muscle tissue. Really? Now the correct way of getting rid of the fat is to create higher metabolic rate. Right. And the way you do it is by what we call interval training. So when you get your heart rate up, and you get your heart rate down, and you get your heart rate up, you let your body recover. So after the fact that you're done with exercise, you're not going to burn fat while you're exercising. But you're definitely going to increase your metabolic rate through the day. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be burning fat while you're sitting and doing the regular activities of the day that you do. Absolutely. And it just occurred to me, uh, Aaron, that we talked about you know, raising or, or optimizing the metabolic rate. But let's go to the phase one. Okay. What is metabolism? Metabolism is the sum total of all your daily functions, okay. of your body functions. So what you try to do is to make your body function a little faster. That's why you increase the metabolic rate. It will be at the rate that you actually are burning energy. Mm -hmm. So if you're burning energy at a higher rate, that means that you will run out of energy a little quicker, which by the nature of, of what that is, you will be burning calories a little bit more, a little faster. Now. Important point, if you do the interval training, but yet you don't take care of your food intake, guess what's going to happen? If you have a lot of garbage stored, your body is overwhelmed with the toxicity, do you think your body is going to all of a sudden start store, getting rid of it faster? So ultimately, even if you do what you do, your body is not going to get rid of this just because it's overwhelmed with toxicity. So the actual button for the fat burning zone is in here and we gotta press it. The way you press it is you stop eating toxic, garbage, crappy food. Mm -hmm. That's the button. Yeah. After that, 
you want to stop overeating the food and you generally overeat on the highly processed carbohydrates so hopefully as the carbs go out the window the processed and the horrible ones then you're going to start eating more fat and more protein a good ones and hopefully you're going to start increasing your metabolic rate by interval training in a weight training and that will be that button that's going to get you to the fat burning zone which you can actually be pretty much the whole time of your life. Yeah. People don't realize how important the liver function is. The liver does all the process of detoxification mm -hmm. and pretty much is regulates to a degree, you know, how the fat is going to be utilized or get rid of it. Yeah. yeah. So, so the liver, liver is basically your filter. Your body gets rid of your all toxic stuff mm -hmm. through the liver. So that's why Ruben says when the liver gets overloaded, it's get overloaded with the toxicity. Actually, what we're going to do the next episode, mm -hmm. let's do it on the liver. Okay. And the functions of the liver, how it works, and we'll make it nice and easy because you can get really blown out of the water with all the, all the physiological... Liver is so important that we... Uh, I think they just start doing it like a liver transplants these days. But it's a lost organ that we can actually transplant because it's so complicated. Mm -hmm. We have generally no clue. When they say heart is important, forget about heart. If your liver is not working, you're doomed. Yeah. Well, because the, 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 the hormones, the enzymatic pathways of detoxification, the, the different process that it does, I mean, it's, it's just, quite difficult. It's, it's yeah. quite amazing, the, the mechanism of the liver. And by the same token, is, you know, if your liver is starting to get a little damaged as, as we get older and we are more exposed to different and various things that we shouldn't, uh, at the same time, if we take care of it, it's one of the organs that actually can regenerate the fastest and the safest. So, your body is an amazing mechanism. Appreciate it. Pay attention. If you have extra weight, if you have extra fat, your body tells you something, could be something good yeah. or could be something not so good. Just follow very specific steps. Get rid of the garbage food. Stop overeating and start exercising and that will be your fat burning zone. That's right. Do you have anything else? Uh, so the conclusion is, you know, fat burning uh, zone button. Thumbs yes. up, thumbs down. <laughs> I only have two, so that I'm going to put two down. Right, so two is, two is good. <laughs> so we have four. We have four out of four thumbs down for the fat burning zone button. We created our own. If you guys believe well, us, maybe, please maybe, follow. Yeah, maybe some other people here in the studio. <laughs> in the background, you know, the like, audience. The audience can tell us. There's no audience. It's just only the two of us and, and the cat. And the cat. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, your future looks better already. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time.